Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari, and I'm an AutoCAD professional with Digital Batting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to create attributes. Before we create an attribute, I'd like to show you how attributes work. So I already have a block here that's associated with an attribute. The attribute was actually created within the block editor. So if I go to insert this block one more time, I can go to insert, and here it is. You'll see that the attribute is tied to it, but as soon as I place this block, the attribute dialog window opens and it asks us what is supposed to be this attribute right here. The default label is D1. So I can immediately begin labeling new doors. These doors happen to be the three feet doors that fit into eight inch thick walls. I can label them right now. So this could be my D2 and I can say, okay. So this is a great way to enhance your blocks and allow a label to automatically be created with them, placed perfectly wherever you want the label, and then you can name that label right as you place the block. So you don't have to place labels after placing blocks. And that's one use of attributes. Now let's actually create one together. We could create our attributes right now. However, it's much more efficient to create them within the block editor. You'll see that if we go to our block panel, we can then click on the drop down here and the define attributes button is right here. This is hidden kind of for a reason and we'll see what happens when we actually go and edit a block. Now, I do have two other doors that we're gonna be using for this example. This one happens to be my three foot door and it's ready to go. I could also use my two foot 10 door right here and this two foot six or two foot eight door, excuse me. And we can see the names of our blocks here in the properties panel and we just have to scroll all the way down. So we're going to use the two foot 10 for this example. I'm going to select it, right click on it and click on the block editor. Now in the block editor, if you look under the action parameters panel, we'll see that attribute definition is now a button that is large and in charge and not hidden behind any drop downs such as this drop down right here. This basically incentivizes us to use attribute definitions and essentially create attributes within the block editor so that our attributes work well with our blocks. And so we're just going to click on it. The keyboard shortcut, of course, is ATTDEF. So we can see that here when we mouse over the function. Now I'm going to select this. And now this is the attribute definition dialog. And we're now going to add lots of data to it. This is the end of the first part of our series on creating attributes. Please stay tuned for part two.